Uh, hello there and welcome to this webinar on how mastering biology can take learning full circle with a unique pedagogy that can touch on all parts of the learning process. My name is Michael Porteous, I'm the Product Manager for Learning Technologies in Australia. So I've left everyone on mute for the time being so I can move through this presentation quickly and not take up too much of your time because I know you're all very busy. Uh, I do understand that you may have questions along the way however, so please feel free to enter them into the webinar chat system and I'll answer them at the end of the session when we have time for some Q&A. Uh, before we jump into Mastering Biology though, I wanted to link this back to the new edition of the Australian version of Campbell's Biology that's coming out in its 10th edition. While the full circle learning is something that all mastering courses benefit from, our local adaptation, both book and online technology, have been created with a set of learner outcomes that have been taken from extensive course outline research and interviews with many biology academics about what your learners uh, most need to be successful. We believe that this will enable greater learning and provide you with more confidence that our product package is created to your exact needs. So what is mastering and what is this full circle learning pedagogy I'm referring to? How is it different to how you might have seen or used mastering biology before? Well, first of all, mastering is the largest, most successful learning system for science around the world. Last year alone we had 4 million students using mastering across science and engineering disciplines, and this year we had an estimated 30 million uh, assignments will be set. So Mastering Biology is a system that was designed originally to give personalised online learning on a large scale, supporting large class sizes with less prepared students, provide insightful data that will inform your teaching and really try to mimic the, the office hour help that you might give to a student individually. So this is achieved through a few measures. We've got a wrong answer feedback. Uh, so using data gathered from all the students using the program, Mastering offers wrong answer feedback that is specific to each wrong answer choice, making sure that they're getting exactly the sort of information they need to correct their misconceptions. We also provide a system of hints and there are two types of hints. Declarative hints that provide advice on how to make, uh, how to approach the problem, and Socratic hints that break the problem down into smaller sub-problems, making it easier for students to complete the original problem. We also have content that's always improving. Mastering is continually improved, improving based on the data generated through classroom use. So resulting content is driven by the performance of actual students. So if we see a question that is not being answered correctly very often, perhaps we need to improve our feedback or improve the hints. So that constant learning we get from the students helps, helps us improve our core content. And also we have a really robust gradebook and diagnostic systems. It's unrivaled that uh, supports reporting to allow instructors to pinpoint the weaknesses and misconceptions of a student or class and provide timely intervention. So that's the core of mastering, but there is much more to it now. What we have now is a system that goes beyond that original concept and can cater to all parts of the learning process with a number of features that enable new approaches. So mastering takes learning full circle, as you can see from this diagram. This can fit uh, in with many ways of teaching, from more traditional lecture, tutorial, homework, to completely flipping the classroom. The first section is about being prepared, preparation giving students ways to understand some core content for a topic so they turn up to class informed. Mastering can deal with the nuts and bolts of many aspects of learning that will be measurable so that you can turn up to class and create engaging experiences that allow you to explore the application of knowledge, not just providing content delivery. So after classes where mastering provides a deeper, more powerful, adaptive learning experience alongside formative and summative assessments, that will fill in the gaps providing mastery learning but also extending uh, the learning of high performers as well. So let's look into these three sections a little more closely. So how often do you experience underprepared students sitting in class not having done any work to understand the upcoming topic or perhaps they have done some work but it hasn't had a, a meaningful impact on their knowledge and understanding? We all know that prepared students have better learning experiences in class and also allowing you to do more with your limited face-to-face -face teaching than delivering the same content they should already have a decent understanding of. So mastering can help improve this situation with a number of aspects such as dynamic study modules, mobile enabled uh, pre-lecture quizzing. 
So we offer pre-lecture questions, simple ones to make sure that they're getting that drill and skill and feedback uh, to go with it. You can customise these very easily, choose what content is appropriate for your class, and most of these are, are com mobile compatible as well, which I'll get to, which is great for students on the go. So using a combination of pre- and post-lecture quizzes and reading assignments, uh, you can make sure students get up to speed before lectures and measure the understanding afterwards if you choose as well. I'm just going back here, this is also a question for one of our Get Ready for Biology supplements that go with the book. So this is for students who are really underprepared, but it can be taken from any of our uh, content libraries. So mobile enable quizzing is also very helpful. We're in the process of converting our entire site and most of the questions into a mobile format. Every question that's available for mobile use is shown to you, so you can create quizzes that come with wrong and right answer feedback that they can do on any device. Any that are not mobile enabled for whatever reason of, of legacy technology, it will tell the students to skip that one until they're at the PC and they can complete it as well. And this is really for, usually useful for students who might be on their phones or tablets uh, around campus, may not be at their PC. Um, some of them are primarily mobile users, we understand, so it's making sure they have a good experience there as well. But one of the, the exciting new technologies in this portion is uh, the dynamic study modules. There are new technology integrated into mastering that can be assigned to students, is tracked by the mastering system, and it also is available as an app on smartphones, uh, but will also work on tablet devices as well. So dynamic study modules are based on brain science research into how we learn, retain, and recall information. That's that first step of that Bloom's taxology, just learning, remembering, recalling. Uh, they've got to have that before they can move to that upper level of integrating these things into more critical thinking and, and uh, synthesis and so forth. So how this works is it functions as a kind of sophisticated set of flashcards that allow students to inform the system if they are certain of an answer or if they're unsure, they can choose two possible answers. So they think, well, maybe it's this one or maybe this one. And this, this gives the system a hint on what they might be thinking, what the misconceptions are. Or they can also let the system that they just have no idea. Uh, making sure that the system is aware that they, they just do not know this topic in any way. This thing gives them a score uh, based on that set of questions and comes with complete feedback to explain the concept. The system then adapts the next set of questions based on the personal needs of that student, forming a learner profile for each individual. And over time this narrows down to make sure the student is achieving mastery of all topics uh, in the path that is right for them. So on the screen here we can see that this student has chosen two answers. They're not quite sure if it's a synaptic vesicle or axon terminal of motor neurons. So they think it might be within the realm of that. That gives a hint to the system what they might be thinking. And an example of how the explanation to some of these questions might look uh, on, a, uh, on a phone, a smartphone. So this means that students can use system that is effective, it's efficient, they can use it anytime, anywhere, on any device, making sure they get that core understanding and you don't have to badger them so much to do it because it's there for them. You can track it, you can assign it, and you can make sure that they do that. Which brings it, of course, to uh, how easy it is for you to use as well. You can easily preview it, make sure it's right, the concepts, that module is right for your class. You can then assign it and you can grade it. It automatically feeds back into our gradebook and you can see how well the students have done while they're getting that learning experience as well. So within the system, all you need to do is copy a module into your course and assign it. It's a couple of clicks and you've got it there, ready to go. So we'll move on to the, the during class experience. So one aspect of the learning experience of mastering, we had limited involvement in the face-to-face -face teaching, but now we have multiple ways to engage students, interact with them, and measure the success of face-to-face -face, uh, learning environments. One of the ways we can do this is using mastering media such as BioFlix, which uses high quality three-dimensional animations that can be used in class to either break up your lectures, uh, to make complex processes in the body and so forth, something they can visualise, and generally to promote greater visual learning and engaging experiences within that classroom setting. But the newest feature is learning catalytics. This is a bring your own device, classroom engagement, assessment and intelligence system. It allows you to assess students in real time using open-ended uh, question formats, uh, numerical, algebraic, textual, uh, graphical responses, or just plain multiple choice to uncover student misconceptions and adjust lectures accordingly. So there's currently 18 different question formats available in Learning Catalytics. 
You also automatically create groups for peer instruction based on student response patterns to optimise discussion productivity. And it also offers a, access to a rich analytics system to help you understand student performance. So LearnCalyx enables you more engaging experience, full of active learning, so you can transform your lecture space and truly understand the learning needs of your students in the process. This change from static content delivery to active and peer learning is proving to engage students, improve retention and increase understanding. So here we've got an example of uh, how a question might look uh, in biology on their phone. So they turn up, you ask them a question, say where is the nucleus of this cell? Maybe a fairly easy question, but maybe not. How do you know in a lecture? So you can see the students put one dot there. You will see a map of every single student responses on, on the back end of your screen, which you can show the students or you can uh, hide from them, maybe get them to, give them some explanation, get them to answer again. So it's a way you can really see what your students at a glance are thinking without just using multiple choice or a show of hands or waiting for somebody to, to speak up and hopefully speak for a group of them. You can see all of this straight away from the students. Uh, there's also multiple ways you can use it. There's the instructor-led synchronous area, which is the main in a lecture theatre or a tutorial. But there's also different online modes that you can use or team-based assessments as well. And here we've got some information on the question library. So you can do composite sketches, collecting of data, direction uh, types, regions, where, which is like the one I showed before. You can plot a graphic and they can choose where a spot they think uh, something is. Word clouds, uh, sketches, ranking systems. There's lots of different ways that you can engage students in critical thinking, not just memorization. And this is the beauty of the system. Not only this, uh, we come with a whole bunch of questions already made uh, within the Canva Biology course. So you can go in there and choose the ones you want, you can edit them if you want to. There's also a community section where people can share the um, questions they've already created. You can share your own questions, copyrighted to you of course, and this way they can, uh, you can build up more and more questions as you go. So there's a lot there that you can use straight away or you can create your own. So after class. Uh, mastering really brings the power of personalised and adaptive learning to bear, providing learners with the tools to fill in the gaps in their knowledge, overcome misconceptions and push good students forward with additional extension material. Adding to the core part of mastering experience is a new system called Adaptive Follow-up Assignments. So adaptive follow-up uh, follow ups are personalised assignments that pair Mastering's powerful content with Newton's adaptive learning engine to provide a personalised uh, help to students before misconceptions take hold. These assignments address to uh, topics students struggle with in their assigned homework, including core prerequisite topics. In just two clicks you can assign the adaptive follow-ups. It's very easy to do. So they're an add-on to the current uh, uh, assessment and assignment systems and homework systems you already use. So since every student is different, each learner follows a different pathway through the content, a little bit like the dynamic study modules, but in a much more structured sense. This ensures a fully personalised experience that adapts to each student every time they interact with that system. This advances to a point where we'll learn that learner's profile. It feeds them question types that they know get the best results for learning as well. So here's a simplified concept map showing how two different students are progressing through the intellect concepts to achieve mastery. So this is obviously a, a maths example, but the idea is all of these concepts have prerequisites and understandings or linked concepts that they need to know. But where their misconceptions lie is going to be very different and very hard to understand uh, as an academic until they engage with this system and then it finds the right path to direct them back to previous topics or push them forward onto new topics that they should be learning. And here's some, uh, an example of some of the options you have in setting the assignments. So it's really simple, you just click to add it, you choose how long it is, how many points it's worth, the due date, how, you know, the two days after they finish the assignment, a week after. You've got some flexibility in there to construct it in the way that you want. And they use the data from the assignments that you set, so it's relating to the concepts you want them to know to form that follow-up. So another great feature of mastering is being able to quickly and easily inspect student data to inform your teaching. So everything that the students put in is stored in the gradebook, giving you quick insights on your students' learning. You see the colour coding here allows you a quick view on how well students are doing on assignments and each click you take onto each of these items will take you deeper into each assignment or students down to every single keystroke they put in. 
Uh, this gives you complete visibility into the, into the system, but the colour coding also means you can see if a student is struggling very quickly or if an assignment is very difficult or very easy. So at a glance, you can monitor that data very, very quickly. You can also view a gradebook data with a number of different visual tools uh, that can show you various views on how your students are performing across the content assigned. You can even see how your class compares to global averages, and all this data is displayed showing how each individual question performs, how difficult it is, how long it should take an average student to complete. So you can construct better assignments using that real student data that we're gathering. I think I also mentioned Learning Catalytics comes with its own data analytics and tracking, giving you post-class insights into your session as mentioned before. So you can see here each of your modules is tracked and how well the students have done, and you can drill deeper into that as well through the Learning Catalytics gradebook. So not only this, not only are we gathering the data on student performance by topic and question, but you can also have learning outcomes assigned to every question so that you can use this to prove metrics around uh, outcomes that might be set by your faculty. And this can be enabled by pulling a simple report. So we have put in some of our own uh, learning outcomes, but you can create your own as well if you've got something specific for your course uh, and tag it to every single question. So I hope that this overview of the features that make up the full circle learning pedagogy of mastering has given you a good idea of the power of our system and the different aspects of teaching and learning that it can influence. Uh, now we don't expect that everyone will take on this full circle approach completely, but it is a good way to show how mastering can tie into all aspects of the teaching at all stages, and you can best pick the best parts that fit into your unit structure and your unit's goals as well. Um, using uh, those main points of personalised and adaptive learning, engaging contents, content and systems that enable active learning, as well as uh, data-informed teaching to help you make better teaching decisions. But there is a few more items I want to mention uh, that make a huge impact to the overall process, and that is the support that Pearson gives to our adopters of MyLab Mastering products. We have people and systems to support integration into all major learning management systems. This allows a single sign-on from your LMS through to Mastering Biology for greater user experience and other options such as gradebook integration. We have education consultants on the ground who work on campus to meet with you, discuss your teaching needs, and we also have a customer experience team who can work with you one-on-one -on -one with your teaching team to deliver a personalised training and support. And not only this, we have a team of people during business hours in Australia to take tech support questions and calls as well as a 24-7 website that is always accessible by email and live chat, which students and academics can use, obviously. So you know, we want to make sure that Mastering Biology works without a hassle. It's in both of our interests that it works well, and we want to support you in that entire process. And last, but definitely not least, we have efficacy. Um, we're in the business of gathering evidence of the success of our products as learning and teaching tools. Pearson's mission is to put efficacy at the centre of everything we do, and for us that means it's about making sure that we have a measurable impact on improving someone's life through learning, and ensuring that we're delivering on the learner outcomes that we set out to achieve. So we're making sure that we're actually delivering real value and not just putting up a system that we think works. We want to prove that it works. So you can see some uh, positive feedback that we've got, in this case it's a, um, uh, from a New York school, but it's on Mastering Biology. And we also have many other case studies just like this. We've got um, uh, groups of case studies, we've got them all online. I'll provide a link to that uh, in the post follow-up uh, to this webinar as well if you want to explore further. So thank you very much for that, thank you for being so patient. I'm going to open up the floor to questions now, I'll answer what I can. Um, but if there's nothing I can answer, I can always follow that up to everybody in the group. So I'm just going to see if anybody's put a question into the chat system. If you have a question, please type it in or put your hand up as well. I think there's an option to do that, which will allow you to uh, let me know you want to speak and I can unmute you. So I'll just wait a moment to see if anybody wants to uh, ask a question. And just so you know, we will we are recording this, and we'll put up a recording of this uh, after it's finished for everybody to access uh, with some additional information as well.
Okay, looks like we don't have any questions at the moment, so hopefully uh, what I've talked about has uh, answered what you needed to know. Um, thank you very much for coming along. I hope this has given you a good insight into Master and Bolchi and, and Pearson as a company as well. Uh, and I'll put up this recording, and if you have any further questions though, feel free to email me at michael.porteous at pearson.com. Thank you very much.